Hello guys, this is what it sounds like to have a broken uh, pipe or uh, catalytic converter slash resonator. Okay. Okay, so right now I am under the vehicle to uh, conduct an inspection and this is the uh, catalytic uh, converter and if you go up and that's where the uh, resonator resonator is so this is the problem you see now it, yeah it it is completely off you got a break completely break break off so the fume uh, didn't go through the uh, or doesn't go through the uh, catalytic converter or all the way down to the uh, to the muffler so that's why this thing sounded like a motorcycle in fact it just has no no uh, no pipe whatsoever see so what I did I bought uh, I bought one on uh, on eBay it was uh, four hundred and forty seven dollars however I'm going to have a serious problem putting it or replacing it. Why? Look at the bolt. See the C's, and you can't even see the the bolt from the uh, yeah uh, from the nut 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 and bolt. Yeah, there we go. I was about to say nuts, and uh, but yeah, you see, and this is not the only place. Let me show you the other ones. Okay, you see here. Uh, this is uh, this is another one. Okay, it's you can't really see cor uh, correctly, but uh, yeah, it's uh, the nut and bolt. They become one. They fused. All right. So this is the other one. That's the from the uh, up uh, upstream, upstream, and uh, look at that. You see. So if I attempt uh, to remove this bolt uh the way i normally do uh, chances are many of them will break off and will leave me with a uh a serious dilemma i do not have the uh, proper tools i think i would need heat to uh to work these things but i don't have any so here's what i'm going to do so far i have no choice but to uh to attempt to uh to patch this I um, I bought uh, a um, the stuff uh, on Amazon. I I bought the uh, the resonator the resonator pipe uh, at, uh, at RockAuto.com. So I'm going to tape this thing really good. But if it doesn't work, then I'll probably pay somebody two hundred dollars labor to remove the the pipe and then uh, re uh, reinstall the the new one. Now it is going to be a little bit hard to film down here because of a lack of uh, space and the vehicle is on, I don't have it on uh, on a lift. So you see the concept here. I will uh, wrap the, this, uh, the material, okay, around this thing to make a, uh, make a perfect seal and then uh, use, uh, yeah, the clamp to uh, support it because I have to have the clamp because of you see this is a part and so when the vehicle is is running or uh, is idle or whatever so this was going to be shaking so the clamp will support both ends so thus make it uh, last longer all right so this is um everything i'm going to use and that's the uh the wrap and i will open it a little bit in a little in a little bit and these are gloves it came with and then you have this uh shield um aluminum shield to uh put over this and then i bought this uh separately uh oftentimes you can just use this one by itself 
if you have a uh, if you have a small hole or a cut on your pipe and but it would be best to buy the flat one but this one here is for uh, uh, those uh, angle and stuff so that's why I bought this this is bigger this part here will go uh, to the uh, resonator and then this part here will uh, will go on the uh, the pipe so that's if it fits though and but I, I, it should it should fit so now let's uh, open let's open this see it's called a fiber fix a heat wrap and uh, look, look, look I don't I, I don't need to uh, don't have to touch it with my hand right now because I don't have gloves so this is it and what it requires is I uh, uh, put it in a water small water um, yeah, not a lot of water, but just to get it wet, a damp, and then a squeeze uh, to remove the uh, the sm small some of the water. So the purpose of the water is to activate the uh, yeah the chemical uh, component in in it. And then after that, I will just go ahead and wrap it around the uh, the hold, and uh, and then uh, when we're done, I will uh, yeah, place this. Okay, and then start the vehicle for about uh, 30 minutes and for for this to harden. All right, so this is what, uh, how to do it. And let me go ahead and then do that. Like like I said, it's going to be difficult to uh, to film because the vehicle is low. But uh, you have the concept. You just uh, wrapped this around the hole. And all the instructions are in the uh, the box and also this paper here all right so now i'm uh, getting ready to uh, stop the bleeding see this is all the uh, stuff i need i have light all right and that's the water so again let me get back to work all right my friend Listen to the sound of the engine compared to what it sounded like prior to uh, this uh, surgical um, operation. normal sound of the engine and let's go down you see see that all right let me go on the other side and show you what I did okay so you see I I replace I and I will replace I put the uh, yeah the tape and uh and then after that i put the clamp and the clamp is supposed to uh keep it tight and also keep both ends uh together so they won't break and so there's no i don't feel any uh any heat coming out of uh here so it is uh it is it is great All right, so uh, I sprayed uh, some uh, uh, water and the soapy water, and I don't see any uh, any bubble. So that means that uh, it is it is good. So, but anyway, I will still uh, disclose this to the uh, to the buyer, and then uh, he can bring his own mechanic and to uh, to check it. Again, this is what it sounds like after the repair. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.